Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to the world of Android customization. This new video is going to be teaching you how to set up an amazing looking Android lock screen that can perfectly complement any home screen that you have currently set up. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great, so like I said today I'll be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android lock screen. So let's just see what this lock screen looks like, unlocking it and bam, it looks amazing. It's titled Cloudy by the author Arturo and as you can tell he's gone for that very minimal, clean, sophisticated look and he pulls it off amazingly well. As you can see there's a few varieties to choose from here. I've gone with the one with the music controls at the top by just selecting say play for example. Then you can start playing some music and you can just select pause and it'll pause it accordingly and you can also go back and forth if you prefer. You've also got your time and date underneath that as well as your weather and it all looks very good as well as your battery information there to tell you if it's charging or discharging and then finally you've got this amazing little unlock button at the bottom that once selected will jump straight to your launcher and looks fantastic. So if you'd like to know how to set up this Android lock screen let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So I'm just going to jump into what apps you'll be needing first. First up will be definitely be Widget Locker, as that'll that's basically your lock screen app. And then following that will be Zupa Widget Pro. And I say Pro because with the free version, it doesn't allow you to add in custom templates, which is what we'll be adding. I almost forgot another app that you do need is Media Utilities, this one over here, as this will allow you for complete media control of the device. And remember, it's not working too well on KitKat just yet. So if you do run into some issues such as the media, there's the cover art not displaying or the artist not displaying, um, just sit tight, it's coming up soon. So from here, once you open up, there's just a few settings you need to set up with Media Utilities. You want to go either into the options here, select settings, or if you're on a Samsung phone or any other phone, it'll probably be at the bottom. And from here, you want to jump into settings. Now, there's just a few things that you want to have enabled. First up, you do want to have your application integration. You want to make sure that Zupa is enabled. You're welcome just to make them all enabled, just in case you happen to use any of these other apps in the near future. But I highly recommend having Zupa enabled. And then finally, you have these three enabled, which are use alternative data collection, attempt direct control, and then make cover art available. So have those three enabled, and you're all good to go if you want to have your music integration within your lock screen. Next up, I always just recommend this, you don't have to install it, but I always like to go for a good file explorer, such as ES File Explorer, simply because it's very easy to copy and paste files into their various locations, which is what we'll be doing now. So once you have all those three apps set up on your phone, then we can begin with placing the various files into their respective folders. So what you want to do is check in the link in the description below for all the resources that you'll be needing. You can either copy it onto your computer, extract it, and then copy it onto your phone, which is, which is what I prefer. Or you can copy it directly onto your, or download it directly onto your phone and extract it using various unzipping software. Even ES File Explorer can unzip it for you. So once that's done, I'm going to go into my File Explorer. And from here, I'm going to go into that folder that I've copied onto my phone. It's just called cloudy underscore files if you haven't renamed it. So once you've opened it up, it's got two folders here, one called cloudy and one called wallpaper. Obviously, the wallpaper folder contains the wallpaper needed. But the one that we're more worried about is the one called cloudy. And if I open it here, it comes, it contains the various Zoop widget files. You can tell that they're Zoop widget because they end in .zw. So from here, we want to select all of them. So you can just select one and then just select this little icon here, which selects them all. And from here you want to go into or just select copy once that's done you want to go back all the way into your main SD card directory go all the way to the bottom and look for the one called Zupa widget once that's open you want to jump into the templates folder and from here you want to paste all those files and basically get them all into this place right here and that's basically it that is all your setup done we just want to go back now back out of everything and now we can once that's done we can now move on to the widget locker setup Great, so next up we're going to be jumping into the widget locker setup and this is very easy to do. You just need to open up the widget locker app and if you have any apps or resources currently on the, the lock screen itself, you, you can either hold down and select remove like I'm doing like this or you can just hold down on them and then drag them into the bin at the bottom like that. So you want to have a clear blank screen as now we're going to be jumping into the widget locker settings. 
which is that little icon at the top like that. Once you've opened up the widget locker settings, the first one we want to be going into is the look and feel settings. From here, you want to make sure that alternative wallpaper is selected as now we're going to be selecting that wallpaper and basically applying it onto the lock screen. You're going to jump into your gallery or your preferred gallery app and you want to look for that folder titled wallpaper as obviously this contains that wallpaper that you need for the lock screen. Now you can resize it, place it wherever you want. But I'm just going to try and get it more or less how the author got it. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to select OK now. And it's basically set now for the lock screen. You're welcome to change the tint if you want. But I do recommend going for a pretty much a 50% tint and it, as it does look a little, whole lot better. And I really enjoy it. Next up you want to go into your layout. As from here you want to make sure that if this anchor is chilling in the middle somewhere around there you want to make sure that touches all the way at the bottom you also want to deselect automatically determine grid size why is that well now this will allow you to pretty much resize the widgets according to how you want so i do recommend going for an 8 by 5 it's what the author recommended however if it doesn't work too well for you if you can't get the widgets in their rightful places then you might want to change that up a bit you can even bump it up to say like a 10 by 10 because there's no icons so you don't have to worry about anything getting cropped once that's done you want to select that save button and from here you want to make sure that the hide notification bar is enabled that's that one at the top because we don't need it it's just going to add some mess to the whole lock screen once that's done we just want to jump into the advanced settings as there's just a few more things left to do we want to make sure that widget overlap is enabled because we might have to overlap a few widgets and from here we want to jump into home helper why is that? Well, a lot of people do complain that when they select that little menu button, it just pretty much unlocks their phone, which is not really a good thing. So from here, we just want to have these three enabled. We want to have Home Helper Component, Home Helper Block Home, and then finally Block Home in other apps. Once that's done, that's pretty much our, well, it is our widget locker settings complete. We can now go back and you want to make sure that everything is blank, as all we are left to do now is to set up those awesome looking Zupo widgets. Great, so in order to set up those Zupa widgets, it's extremely easy. You want to hold down on that, on that lock screen, select widgets now, and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and select Zupa Widget Pro. Now, it doesn't really matter what size you go for as you're going to be resizing them anyway. So I'm just going to drag this one to the top as this is going to be my the one with the music control. So I'm going to hold down on it, select resize, and make sure that pretty much takes up the top area of it. Now you're going to tap away, select it, and this brings up your Zupa Widget Editor. Remember, if you have no idea how to use Zupa Widget, you want to definitely go check in the link below for the complete guide to Zupa Widget. Great, so this now opens up your Zupa Widget Editor, and from here we want to jump right into our SD card, as this is where, as you can see, all those skins we've just placed into that Zupa Widget template folder. Now I'm just going to go for the one that I showed earlier on, which is that 3x3 media controls, but you're obviously allowed to well, put in anything else that you want. So I'm just going to select them like that. And from here, if you do want to change your controls, remember to have that media utilities, all those settings enabled. Otherwise, these will not work at all. And from here, you want to jump into widget on tap action. Now, why do I do this? Well, it will prevent you from selecting anywhere else here and opening up this editor each time. So I do recommend you set that, but only once you've configured all your hotspots and everything else that you currently need. So if I just select back now, it'll now add it onto there. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to start by adding in the one beneath that, that one with the, the time and the date. So exact same process, Zupa Widget Pro. Let's go for any size as I want to hold down on it, select resize. And if you're lazy like me, you can also just hold down on it and select block clicks. And this will prevent you from doing anything like this whatsoever. Great. So that's just a little tip and trick that you can write down if you want you don't have to but i'm just going to be adding in that final zupa widget the uh, i guess you could call it button or slider not really a slider but if i tap back now i see i wanted to take it up basically the bottom of the screen select the editor go into my sd card let's go all the way and i'm just going to go for that one I originally did remember as you can tell there's quite a few options to choose from here which i really really enjoy now i'm just going to select that unlock one and this is something that you need to take note of as it is quite important. If I go into my layout, and now the second rectangle from the bottom, or this, the second object from the bottom is, is called rectangle. And what the author has actually done is provided a blank 
basically image around here that it's, it's actually a hotspot so once you select this it actually it doesn't unlock your phone it actually jumps to your launcher which is actually quite a nifty trick so from here we want to select widget on tap action and as you can tell it's been configured to open up a nova launcher but because i'm not using nova launcher i'm using <laughs> one of the best um, launches around currently right now um, it's our own custom launcher called Thema Beta I'll get to that a bit later but if you can basically select whatever launcher you're currently using just need to select it under applications and now it's been selected like that I'm just gonna go back now I don't want to change anything else so all I want to do now is to go into my widget on tap action and from here I just want to make it disabled so it's gonna deselect everything around here it won't open up my editor so make sure that you got everything in order but only once I select that unlock button will it unlock onto my directly onto my launcher so that's basically it done we can just test it out let's just see if we go back out of everything let's just see and let's just lock the phone and unlock it like that and select the button bam so wow it's an amazing lock screen i truly enjoyed you can always just change your wallpaper if you get slightly bored of the amazing looking clouds so thank you very much guys for watching this is the video complete if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already also don't forget to check out like i said that one click theming launcher titled thema it is currently available in the play store and i highly recommend that you go and try it out right now other than that, don't forget to check out our various social communities for My Color Screen as well as Thema. We are on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we are on it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Once again, this is Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.